in addition to many other features, Mock Studio Pro um, has a real-time ambient occlusion engine. And as I look at this, I can switch over to ambient occlusion only. Because we render everything in passes, all of our passes can be rendered individually and can be looked at individually. So I can switch to AO only, and you'll see that we're rendering an AO pass in the background real time. As I select one of my characters here, I can move the character in the scene up and down in real time, and you'll see that I'm interacting uh, with my ambient occlusion as it's going back and forth into the floor. So this is not a pre-baked pass, this is a real-time pass that is calculated on the fly. Um, so all these settings are editable and all these settings are keyable. So we can animate everything in Mark Studio and this includes all the ambient occlusion passes and all of the lighting passes that we can look at individually. So in addition to the ambient occlusion pass, we can look at all the HDR passes and depth of field, diffuse, specular, reflections, refractions individually. For example, we could look at uh, just the Yale pass like we just did, or just a shadow pass. Or in addition, we could also look at just a uh, depth of field blurriness if you need to go into compositing in the end. So there's a there's a major chances you have to do any kind of uh, work afterwards, or you can use Mock Studio as your default compositing engine to render out final imagery.